Brooklyn Independent Television. Hey, well, the summer basketball season is right around the corner, especially here in Brooklyn. And at Tillery Park, it's about to tip off. Right here? Right, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I got a few gentlemen joining me. I got Kane and Jasper, a Tillery Park Foundation and Fun Sport. Right. Daryl DeBarlo, Tillery Park Foundation, and Mr. Ricky Rivers. Yep. Fun Sport. All right. So, gentlemen, as far as first, I got I to gotta ask you, where has Tillery Park basketball been? Did it disappear, disappear for a year or two or what? What happened? You want to take that, Kane? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I started with you, but it, it, it definitely took some time off. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very valuable piece of basketball property and uh, visible property, too. So you got to make sure you put the right product on the, on the court because it's not just about basketball. And especially with the economy, everything it took time for you guys, I guess, to regroup, right? Yeah, and the strategy always helps, you know, on a forward-moving product. product. You definitely got to have the right strategy, and that takes time. You know, don't want to rush it. Now, June 13th, it's a Monday. The season will, a tip, uh, will tip off, right? June 20th. Fun, Actually, June, June 20th. 20th. June yes. 20th, fun, fun Sport and Tillery Park. Tell us about that. Well, what, what happened, Kanan came together and with, with myself and Daryl and thought that with a year and strategizing with Daryl that we kind of mixed my success and Daryl's success about 30 years of basketball experience combined there and kind of create a new and rebrand the park a little bit and re-energize it for this summer. So I, I did a, bas a concept last summer called Love and Basketball at 113 Park and we thought that we kind of bring that pilot over. There were a lot of points that we missed in it last summer and Tillery Park is just the, the ideal space to kind of do something like this. Right, not too far from Manhattan, right there on the <clears throat> tip, right? As far as far, not too far from the Brooklyn Bridge. It's the right. entree, it's the entree to Brooklyn. Right. So, um, highest visibility point in Brooklyn. So the concept is called Love and Basketball, and who doesn't relate to Love and Basketball? I was wearing the shirt not too long ago in the airport, and someone stopped me and said, Love and Basketball? I've seen that movie. That was a great movie. I said, so I think the thought of it is like a lot of people can relate to it, whether you watch tournaments, summer basketball, or you don't. Um, and we think it's something that can integrate both, both genders, male and female. And there's going to be some speaking points that, that come behind it to where that it's going to be more than just basketball. We'll talk about things that are happening, social issues that these young kids have to deal with. Uh, we're going to bring in some people to talk to kids. Like before each game, we'll bring both teams together. And each week, we'll have a new theme of the week. But it's more so just to kind of leave the kids with something with more than just basketball. Uh, so it becomes more love in basketball. Fun sport. Tell us about fun sport and how long has fun sport been around also? Okay. I'm the first person to talk about that. Fun sport, I've been... Uh, my 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 organization has been incorporated now since 1999. It's a 501c, a nonprofit. Uh, we've kind of grown a lot of different basketball programs over the years. We started out in Sunset Park. We started out as a weekend league, uh, just to kind of do something in the weekend, fill in the void for the community there. And through it, through, through the course of that, and just my business experience and the things that I've learned, I've just been able to just develop more and more programming, successful programming. The, the last program I think that most of the kids identify with me is my junior high school program, which gives the kids the opportunity to play at the world famous Madison Square Garden Arena. So I've had a lot of AAU teams and had some success with teams coming from out of the tri-state <clears throat> area, from Philadelphia, from Buffalo to upstate, to come and be a part of this opportunity. Uh, and I expect that, that, that same catalog to carry me into this love and basketball. The age categories for fun sport also. Well, fun sport, we have a junior high school program, which is one of the, the success. I said it's bookends, so we have a junior high school program, and at the top of that is our fireball program, which is our pro piece, where I have guys like Nate Robinson, guys like Senyata Gaines, a lot of NBA, several NBA guys kind of mixing together with some of our pro and amateur athletes here in New York some City. Some New York Knicks and maybe some Nets, right? Yes, well, I've had, Nets I've had some, six with the, I have some success with the Knicks playing with terms of Ronaldo Balkman, Wilson and Chandler, who was traded, Nate Robinson, who was with the Knicks at the time. So they're usually involved in the program, and that actually starts this weekend coming right, up. We're going to close out this segment, but we are going to continue our conversation further in the show, especially about, you know, as far as about summer basketball here in Brooklyn right mm -hmm. after this. And in case you're just joining me, we are discussing Tillery Park basketball, also in conjunction with Fun Sports. So they both have joined at the hit. Right. For the kids right. in the community. And also, Daryl, what I want to talk to you about as far as the development of Tillery Park, also the Tillery Park Foundation, too. Okay, Tillery Park Foundation is a nonprofit 501c3 organization located uh, downtown Brooklyn, which is Tillery and J Street. 
We provide uh, young men and women uh, basketball. We also are members of USTA, United States Tennis Association. Also, we work closely with New York Red Bull soccer. Um, our basketball, we had taken a, a little leave for a year just to uh, work out some figures and work with these two gentlemen here, uh, Ricky Rivers and Kanan Jasper. Also, um, the McLaughlin Park, as, it, as it's known, it's been some reconfigurations. Uh, we work closely with our elective officials in the um, borough of Brooklyn. We were able to uh, do the first phase of multi-purpose field, um, stadium type lighting, bleachers, and um, nice basketball courts. Yes, too. basketball sure. courts. We had them uh, turned it so their um, measurements are 40 by 70, so that way uh, everyone will be able to play comfortably and not burn themselves out. We also have bleachers in the park as well. The second phase, they are in construction now, which is the children's toddler area. But following the children's toddler area, they will be adding some um, adjustments to the uh, basketball court, some dural pads and some more bleachers and some uh, lighting, uh, electrical for the lighting for the park. Now, as you know, gentlemen, I, I mean, Stevie Wonder could probably see this. The community is changing. Mm -hmm. How does Tillery Park fit in, especially when it comes to basketball during the summertime? Well, I think New York is uh, synonymous with basketball. This is one sport that, you know, doesn't take a lot of space to play nor does it take a lot of finance. So I think that's why New York has become synonymous with basketball, just geographically inclined to do so. Uh, as far as the uh, diversity of New York, I think it's a great thing uh, because basketball is a teamwork game. I think it's one of you know, a sport that breeds diversity. So, and everybody loves it. So um, if you incorporate the proper principles in it, the number one being, <coughs> principle being love, love for your community, love for your family, and, and love for competition, I think, you know, Tillery Park becomes the perfect situation to have all those elements just thrive. Now, when it comes to basketball, you start off on the 20th. The season tips off June 20th. Uh, the categories, age categories, divisions, girls, boys, let's talk about that. Well, one of the things we want to do is just make sure we, we, we try to touch on all the youth sides of it. So we're going to have an elementary school division. That's your, your fifth and your sixth graders getting started. So there's And this division. is Monday through Friday? Monday through Friday. The fifth and sixth graders are probably will likely play on the weekend, the schedule shows for. Uh, then you have your middle school division. It's your seventh and eighth graders. They will also play on the weekend. I think the one of the highlights of the Love and Basketball concept is that Chillery Park is one of those great locations. Um, I do see like there's a lot of energy that's gonna be placed in Brooklyn with the emergence of the Brooklyn Nets Arena. There's a lot of focus that's gonna be on Brooklyn. And that Tillery Park is in an ideal situation where they have lights. Now, the one thing that's good about it, and when you're playing basketball under the lights, is your, your game just goes to another level. Sure. So I anticipate that what we're gonna do in the weekdays, what we'll have to anticipate, we're gonna be successful at having this high school program, this high school tournament. So you get a chance to really shine. To really shine, mm -hmm. under uh, bright lights, mm -hmm. you know. So they'll be playing under the lights. We'll get some of the, top, the, the best talented teams to kind of be a part of this in, this in this first year. And I expect just like a new look to, to take over the artillery park with love and basketball, the, the success that we both have had, and more youth focus uh, in terms of for the community there. I think a lot of the community will embrace that, to kind of go out there to see some young kids from all ethnic backgrounds and diverse backgrounds from different areas, from the tri-state area competing. Cool. You know, we've got to take another break, right? So uh, we'll be back with more after this look at volleyball. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.